Hey, what's up guys, it's Jonathan. And when I was at CES, Honor released a new phone. This is the Honor 6X. I've been using this phone like nonstop ever since I got it. Have no idea why, I'm just drawn to this phone. It is a budget phone, but since I've been using it so much, instead of just doing like a first impressions or an unboxing video, I decided to go straight into my full review because I've used it like nonstop every day. So without further ado, this is my review of the Honor 6X. The first thing you're gonna notice when you pick up the Honor 6X is how incredibly well built this phone is. It almost reminds me of like a heftier OnePlus 3. In terms of ergonomics, it's got curved edges all around on the backside, making it fit in the palm very well and making one-handed use extremely easy. The Honor 6X features a solid aluminum construction done in like a unibody type design. It doesn't have any chamfered edges or anything like that, which could be a positive because there's no sharp, jagged corners that are gonna cut into your hand whenever you're holding it. It doesn't feel like a cheap handset whatsoever. In fact, it could probably go toe to toe with a lot of the premium handsets on the market to date. Taking a quick look around the phone, starting on the bottom, you're gonna find a single down firing speaker. Even though it looks like there's two speakers down here, one of them's in fact a microphone. Then you're gonna find a micro USB port. Now why they went with micro USB is beyond me. If it was for budget reasons, I would have gladly have paid five more extra bucks to have USB type C, since it kind of future proofs your investment for a longer period of time. On the right hand side you're going to find a volume rocker and then your power button. On the top you're going to find another microphone and then your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Glad they didn't get rid of that. Then you're going to find a sim card slot on the left hand side that actually doubles as a dual sim card slot and the second slot can be used as an SD card slot. So it does support SD cards up to 128 gigs which is pretty awesome. On the back of the phone you're going to find a fingerprint reader which does support the gestures that Honor has been known for. Then you're gonna find a dual camera setup. One of them is two megapixels while the other is 12. And I'll get more into that in just a minute. On the front of the phone, you have an eight megapixel front facing camera with your dedicated sensors lined up at the top. Then below that, you have a 5.5 inch 1080p display, good for a PPI of 403. Now, even though it's not quad HD, you really can't tell a difference. I mean, Huawei and Honor have been known for producing excellent 1080p panels. And I mean, excellent. I mean, when you put their panel up next to say something like the iPhone, it's really hard to tell a difference. The viewing angles are excellent. It's an IPS panel. The colors are nice and accurate. There's minimal light bleed. The blacks may not get the darkest, especially when compared to like an AMOLED panel, but they get dark enough for me and it gets nice and bright during the day. The Honor 6X is rocking a Kirin 655 octa-core chipset clocked at 2.1 gigahertz. Has three gigabytes of RAM and you can pick it up in 32 or 64 gigabyte storage options. It packs a 3,340 milliamp hour battery, but it does not feature NFC, so there's no Android Pay support. Like I said, when it comes to just day-to-day -day tasks, the 6X is gonna pull through like a champ, whether it's light gaming, browsing the web, watching some YouTube videos, or just using the phone as a phone. It's going to do it with no problem, and it's gonna have minimal hiccups or stutters. I mean, you might experience the occasional lag just because it's not the best specs, but honestly, I was blown away by the performance of this phone. I think the biggest downfall with this phone is the software. Now, Honor did state that it will be updated to Android 7.0 with MUI 5.0 in the future, but coming straight out of the box, it's on MUI 4.1 and Android 6.0, which kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, it should at least be on Android 7.0, not 6.0, and MUI as a whole just isn't my favorite skin. However, you can throw something like Nova Launcher on here, and thanks to the hardware in this phone, it's definitely a performer, and it would just make your experience much, much better. The camera found on the 6X is actually really good. At first I was a bit disappointed in it because I've been using the iPhone 7 Plus, the iPhone 7, the Galaxy S7 Edge, the Galaxy S7, and the, even the Note 7. I was just let down by the performance, but I forgot the price of this phone. Once you actually consider how cheap this phone is, and then the performance per dollar, everything kind of comes together. And the pictures taken with this phone are actually very good. So like I said in the beginning, there is two cameras on the back. You have a two megapixel and a 12 megapixel. The two megapixel is only there to get like depth information to allow you to adjust the aperture and your depth of field and post. And it actually works really good. Despite it not being able to shoot 4K, the 1080p is nice, sharp, crisp. The colors are very vivid, but yet accurate. The dynamic range is okay. It just doesn't feature optical image stabilization, which kind of sucks. The camera app is loaded with different features, settings, and modes to shoot in. It even has a pro video and pro photo mode Mode, which is kind of unheard of for 250 bucks. The 3,340 milliamp hour battery is definitely a performer. Um, it will easily last you a full day no matter your usage, but depending on how much you use your phone depends on how much you'll get into that second day. For me, it got me about a day and a half and that was on pretty heavy use. 
Um, on standby, it lasted me three to five days and that's with cellular turned on and receiving notifications, which is outstanding. So yeah, it's hard to give this phone a bad review. It's 250 bucks. I mean, you're not gonna get the best specs. You're not gonna get the best performance, but honestly, this is the best performing $250 phone I have ever used, and it's easily recommended to anybody looking for a phone in this price range. Well guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my full review of the Honor 6X. If you did, go ahead and drop me that big thumbs up because you're awesome, plus you wanna support the channel. If you have any questions about this phone or anything else, just drop me a comment down below and I'll try to respond to you at a reasonable amount of time. Go ahead and subscribe to all my social media connections and make sure you turn on notifications to be alerted whenever a new video drops and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be easy.